Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport CEO here on the channel Bongo Planes, where we today will be focusing on our remote stands here at Terminal 1. So we want to get them up and running and have aircraft coming in. As always, before we get too far into today's video, if you should end up enjoying the video, then don't forget to smash the like button. That really does help us out. And of course, if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. Now, as I said, we will be working on here in Terminal 1 on the remote stands. And for that, we already have the checking counters. We just need to connect everything up here with the luggage system. So that's one thing we need to do. And uh, then we will, of course, also do all the other things. We need to work mainly as actually underground today because we have most of the stuff for our remote stands at floor level minus one. Later in the episode, I will then also be adding airlines that you guys have requested in the comment section below in the last couple of videos. I will always try to add the airlines that you suggest as long as they are just uh, yeah, realistic to Berlin Tegel. And um, I've noted down the ones that you had written in the comments, at least to the point where I'm recording this episode. Obviously, I need to do it a little bit in advance to make sure that I have the videos ready for you guys. So if any comments have come in after I'm recording this, then I uh, have noted it or will have noted it down and then I will try to add it in the next couple of episodes. I'll probably do one or two episodes here just uh, in a row recording them. Um, because I might be a bit busy in the next couple of weeks. Um, so to ensure that I will have something for you, I'm trying to record a little bit ahead. Uh, but anyway, if you suggest anything in the comment section below, I will read it, I will note it down, and I will add it at some point in the future. Now, as you can see, we are working here on the luggage system. As always, we need to add or we need to bring all the luggage that uh, is coming in from the checking counters. We need to bring that down to level minus two, where we are connecting everything up so that we already have a line. So we just need to add um, a little connection to that. And then we are pretty much done with that part. Obviously, then we still need to do the back, uh, the back baggage, the luggage retrieval area. Could also be baggage retrieval, retrieval area. I can't speak today. <laughs> I, I do apologize for that. But I guess if you have watched my videos before, you know that I have difficulty speaking clear sentences. Anyway. So we do also kind of need to work out where we actually want to have the um, yeah, luggage retrieval because um, yeah, passengers are coming from the remote stands. We have the security checks just before that, but when passengers arrive, they obviously come from the same part. Uh, so they come again from these uh, the boarding desks over there. Um, and I haven't... I think I have kind of made a little bit of a mistake here because I didn't really think about where they would then go because I can't kind of I can't I can't get them up uh, to the security zone of the uh, of the west wing here at the airport. So what I think we will do is actually I think we will utilize that we have this um, still empty building in the middle of uh, our airport here, and I think we will simply add the um, uh, lower level here make the luggage retrieval area and then we can have people coming up there um it's maybe not entirely realistic i mean obviously this is not how it's done at berlin tegel but they also don't have this section at all um so they are obviously um at geneva airport which is the inspiration for this part because they do have these remote terminals uh, out on the field um, passengers go to them via tunnels and they can go back via tunnels and then they are always within the security zone uh, and I can't really do that here obviously if it was a remote remote stand they would just be uh, brought there by bus from the main terminal and back again and that option I don't really have here so um, yeah but the, the the game also doesn't have the baggage retrieval inside a security zone um, so as we don't need to have it within, or we can't really have it within a security zone. Actually, could we have it within a security zone? I'm thinking about it now. Would that actually be possible? Um, and then simply having the security exit after that? 
it might actually be possible. Maybe I've just missed something there. But anyway, we don't have it with inside the security zone, so we can just put it anywhere. So we will have the security entrance, so to say, and the security exit right next to each other. Um, and then we have these under underground areas where people can walk and cross each other and they can walk over to the center building here uh, and retrieve their luggage if they come from the remote stands. It's not it's not perfect. It's not exactly how I had thought it out when I started building this. But then again, I actually, I kind of forgot how I wanted to do this. Um, so that's my mistake. But um, yeah, I don't really see any way how I could guide the people coming from the remote stands up to level one at the west wing because there is literally no space to add more uh, stairs there so this is kind of a compromise so yeah i should probably have thought this a little bit better out before i started this um but yeah that that was simply a glitch i i just yeah it uh, slipped my mind how i wanted to do this in a better way but i think um it's nice anyway that we at least start using this center building a little bit so in that sense, I think it's okay. And um, yeah, I mean, it does also give us a little bit of traffic down here with people walking around and uh, so on. I noticed we still have this uh, funny issue with the security checks that they ever so often say that they are unmanned or they are not manned enough. And honestly speaking, I don't know what to do about it because I have so many security staff and I constantly build staff rooms close to the security checks to make sure that uh, when they're going off shift and on shift that they don't have to walk too far and so on and so on. Uh, and also it's kind of, it, it does seem to work. So I don't know if it's just a glitch or, I don't know. I really do not know. But um, yeah, it's something that constantly flashes up, um, but the game does still seem to run so I don't know. I don't know if I should just ignore it or if it actually, if there's actually an issue and I need to do something differently. If you have come across this issue and I don't know, maybe you found a solution, then do feel free to let me know in the comment section below. That actually with anything here in the game, if if you have any ideas or if you see me doing something in a specific way and you maybe do it totally different and um, you know, you're always welcome to let me know in the comment section below, explain yourself why you're doing it in the specific way. Maybe, um, yeah, you've, you found the, the, the perfect way of doing something. Then, uh, then let me know, share your knowledge, share your knowledge. Uh, I'm trying to share as much as in, uh, as much of the insight I have to the game. Obviously, um, th I'm sure there are people out there that know the game much better than myself, but, um, I can only share as much as I know. If you know something that I don't, then feel free to share it. <laughs> anyway, that's just my two cents to that. I mean, we are, after all, some form of a community, so why not profit from that? So right now I'm working on a few staff rooms here at this uh, remote uh, part of the uh, terminal. And honestly speaking, I don't know if they will ever be needed, but they are right next to where we have the uh, bus stops and the service car stops. And my thought is that the workers will come with the service cars and they will stop there and leave the car. Um, so if they want to go to a, um, a, a staff room after that, then at least it will be super close. If not, then okay, no one will use it, but then no harm is done. Uh, and if they need some staff room after they've uh, exited the service car, then it will be right around the corner, literally. So um, yeah, this is again in an attempt to always keep all the walkways as short as possible. All right, so we have uh, finished up our luggage system, or at least it's being constructed right now. Uh, we have uh, done the security exit. We have connected everything up, so that should be fine as well. So what we also need, of course, is the service equipment. We already have the um, vehicle uh, base. No, that's not the name. <laughs> I always forget vehicle depots. Uh, I don't know why I always forget names of these things. I'm constantly using it and I just cannot remember. Anyway, uh, the point is that, um, of course, we need uh, GSE for these stands that we will uh, very shortly be activating or starting to use. And as always, I do that. I get one uh, needed GSE per stand. So um, that made no sense. <laughs> so I get, I get, I mean, we are remote stands, so we need stairs. So one stair for each stand we need a pushback truck so one pushback track for track truck 
for each my god my my english today is horrendous one pushback truck per stand we need service cars so one service car per stand and we need buses so one bus per stand and so on and so on you get the idea um the other thing that is really important or I think it's really important I at least do it I then after having purchased all that stuff I then assign it to specific uh, vehicle depots that are relatively close to the stands in that uh, that way my idea is of course as I've said so many times but if you're new around here you might not know uh, that these vehicles will be close to the stands they will always be close because they will they will go to the stand when they're needed and once they're done they will go back to that vehicle bay and not just to some other random vehicle bay across the airfield um so that should again help us with the turnaround of aircraft uh, that's the idea okay so the last thing i think we will do before we start looking at the flight planner is uh, to add a few bathrooms here because in these parts of the airport we really don't have any uh, and um, yeah i think passengers and staff will appreciate having that around so um, we do it as always we simply add it here um, the other uh, remote uh, terminal here is identical so what we can simply do is uh, we can basically build it here at the this part and as soon as we are done with that we can simply copy paste like this just put it over there and bang it's done that's how fast you can build stuff if you at least keep the same um yeah if you keep the buildings identical then you can just do that that's really awesome uh, and yeah so then we have bathrooms or toilets here at both parts of these remote stands perfect so um put the floors in here and then we should take a look at the flight planner all right so obviously the game has been running for quite some time so we've kind of run out of aircrafts coming in and i'm not using the auto scheduler although they i mean they have updated the game and the whole graphics part here looks different so i don't know if they've also changed how the auto planner works uh, but I haven't tried it out yet, so I can't really say so. But of course, we add a few of the Air Force aircrafts in at our government's terminal, which we also still need to kind of finish up. It's not entirely finished yet, so we need to do that in an episode sometime in the future. And then, of course, here at the stands that we already have in operations that add a few flights in there. Um, obviously, a lot of uh, Lufthansa, a bit of British Airways. I think I will... June, of course, that's really nice because we... Uh, actually do get june at berlin tegel uh in real life as well easyjet obviously loads of that those for example i will uh, move over to terminal 2 once we've constructed that because in real life easyjet is operating from terminal 2 um i don't think they call it terminal 2 in in berlin tegel in real life i think they call it d or c or whatever but it doesn't matter it's terminal 2 uh, klm obviously that was added i think last time was one of the ones that you had requested uh, i think most airlines actually here have been requested by you only a few of them i have added myself uh, and i think we will keep it like that at least for now um i forgot to add the special deliveries of tui but i will try to do that sometime in the future because i i think they can look really cool and uh, then we have norwegian um which we have two of and that's because one of them is supposed to also offer wide body aircraft but i don't think um at the moment we are getting any offers for wide body aircraft for some reason it might be that we just don't have actually i don't really know why it wouldn't offer us any at the moment but i don't know i probably forgot something and the game is actually being a little bit intelligent and they're not not bringing them in anyway so let's look at the airlines that you guys wanted to have um because uh, you've actually requested quite a few so let's see um where well, we do have contracts offered and airlines so that's uh, good uh okay so let's see we have a few and let's see what they have already loaded into the game right now um azerbaijan yeah azerbaijan airlines was one of your requests which i'm happy to oblige with because i think they could look really nice and it's an airline that i've only recently added uh, and i actually haven't operated at any other airport yet whirling was also a request let's see what else do we have uh bra which is a swedish uh, regional airline I was requested logan but they don't only have dhc6 hmm 
While well, we add them and we see if it works, I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we have added them. A Europa was a request of you guys as well. Um, right, and uh, so we have two of those. Hmm, okay, well, anyway, we've already added one. Uh, let's see if it uh, yeah, should work. I mean, the first one had only ATRs, this one had also Afros, but anyway, um, I think that's okay. Um, let's see what else did I have. I also had British Airways on my list, but we already have those, so um, we don't need to add them twice. Sun Express, unless you guys want to have British Airways City Liner, but then you need to request that specifically. <laughs> All right, so we've added the, those. Uh, there was already a bunch of them. Um, so let's put them in here at the remote stands. No, because we still have uh, plenty of space there. Uh, so a bit of uh, Europe, a bit of Bra. Um, which I think is, was it Brathens? But that was Norwegian. I, I have always been confused with the name of the Swedish local uh, regional airline, why they call themselves the way they do. But anyway, uh, that's just me. Uh, Welling, let's put them in as well. Uh, and we had, uh, oh yeah, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan still has no offer. Okay, so we might need to leave the game running a little bit um, so that a few offers come in and then we can add them in just a second. All right, so I actually had to leave the game running for quite a while until I actually got offers in from also Azerbaijan Airlines, but now we have added it and the first flights are coming in. So let's just see, that's still not, oh yeah it is, nice. Our first flight from Azerbaijan Airlines, nice and blue. They do have a really lovely livery. Um, there are a bunch of uh, helper models, obviously other uh, manufacturers are also making them, but they do look really nice. Um, I've made a review of a 787, which looks really awesome. They also have a free, few A340 models, although I don't think they operate those anymore. Uh, let's see. I think, uh, yeah, we have a bunch of aircrafts coming in now, but it does seem to run as it should. I mean, Terminal 1 here, this part should be running fine. The remote stands, that's more, um, that's the new part, so we need to see or keep an eye out for that. But it does seem to work. I mean, the bosses were there, straight away. Passengers are leaving the aircraft, they're being refueled, luggage is being handled as well, I think. Um, I think it looks like it now. That's a lovely little aircraft. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I really do like that. And the Sun Express right next to it. Routes, of course, are still total nonsense, but okay. Um, I don't know if they will ever fix that. If they can even fix it, but it would be awesome if they did one day, if we could have realistic routing. Or even, even if it was just in a mod, that would be fantastic. So passengers are also waiting over here, which is always a good sign. Loads of people walking around. Um, luggage system seems to be running as well. Very busy, but it does seem to work. So that's a good thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love when things just work. And I love when I don't mess up because that's normally when things don't work. It's not because the game doesn't work. It's because I messed up because I forgot something when I was constructing it and opened it too soon or whatever. But yeah, this is great. Lufthansa, I think this is still the old livery. But I do think actually the game also has a new livery with Lufthansa. I just don't remember right now, but I do think so. Um, June looks nice from here. Uh, yeah, a little ATR of bra. Uh, very nice. Although, <laughs> did you see that? Did you notice that? The luggage loader was in the wrong end of the aircraft. But that's okay. I mean, most aircraft are loaded luggage from, from the back end. Uh, obviously, the ATRs have the cargo hold in the front. Uh, they didn't take that into account, but... Uh, okay, that's okay. I, I I can live with that. That looked a bit funny. Uh, okay, wait, things seem to run uh, really nicely right now. We have loads of traffic coming in. We do have a little bit of congestion here, but we, I can't make the taxiways any better because, I mean, obviously the solution would be to have parallel taxiways, but um, the aircraft don't understand that and they would just... They will always take the shortest route and do what they're doing now, but that's just, yeah. Uh, it's still alright, and I can absolutely with, live with that. I, I don't mind them standing around here waiting for entering the uh, runway. Although, what the heck is... <laughs> what is the Azerbaijan doing? Why did it enter the runway at the wrong end? And Alright, interesting. I didn't know they would do that. Why would it do that? So just skip the entire queue, but then made everyone wait for it because it had to taxi all the way. 
Oh my god, on the runway. Okay, um, I hope they won't do that too many times, but the rest seems to run fine. And uh, yeah, also no logic behind why they're going to one runway and not the other, but I don't mind. I do not mind. It looks fine. Uh, it is as good as we can make it with the game logic as it is right now. If there was some way of controlling which taxiways they were doing, you could optimize that. But as long as you can't, there's really no, there's nothing you really can do. Um, forgot to build a line here, so let's just quickly do that just to, although, I mean, they, they did seem to make their own line, but why not help them out? Why not help them? I just need to make sure that I don't block the entire thing here. But yeah, that should be fine. All right. So that seems all to be running fine. Um, I'm really happy with that. I am really happy with that. So I think, um, yeah, hiring a few more people just to make sure. Probably have janitors we really do lack. Service technicians I don't think we lack. I think it's just that they are maybe in the wrong part of the airport. Everything else seems to be as it should. So that's great. So um, yeah, I think this is the perfect time to end today's episode. We have now the remote stands running at Terminal 1. So actually now we only need to, we really need to fire up the wide body stands of Terminal 1. I think we will try to do that next episode, but no promises yet. And we need to work on uh, the east wing of Terminal 1. Then we will pretty much be done with Terminal 1. We can start moving over to Terminal 2. Um, but yeah, all that in future episodes to come. With that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button. That really does help us out if you're new around here. Why not hit subscribe? Of course, if you have any suggestions, any ideas, uh, any suggestions for new airlines we can add, put it in the comment section below. I do read all the comments and try to respond as, uh, try to respond to them as, try to respond to as many as possible. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, with that, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.